the US Food and Drug Administration has approved Biogen's drug Aducanumab, which claims to slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease. In this video, we will consider why this is relevant, why the drug has raised concerns, and what it could mean for the future of Alzheimer's. But let's start by talking about why this is such an important news story. The drug in question has been produced by Biogen and Japanese company Asai. This would be one of the most significant decisions the FDA has made in years. For many people suffering with Alzheimer's and their families, this would be a revolutionary turnaround because in this field there are very few treatments that currently exist and no new drugs have been approved since 2003. Moreover, the few medicines that exist seem to have limited effects. To highlight this, there was a huge battle to obtain the drug Aricept when it was approved over 20 years ago. At the time, Aricept was claimed as a breakthrough drug, however, over time it has become clear that even if it slows mental decline for some months, over the long term it makes little difference. Aducanumab is a monoclonal antibody that targets the buildup of amyloid protein plaques in the brain, which are believed to be a cause of Alzheimer's disease. So by focusing on this, the drug is expected to reduce Alzheimer's progression so that people can continue to perform daily tasks such as cleaning and shopping. The drug tests the amyloid hypothesis, which states the plaque buildup in the brain may cause Alzheimer's. But why exactly is this drug so controversial? There have been a series of issues with Biogen's clinical trials that prompted many scientists to argue that the drug does not work. In March 2019, Biogen halted its two trials after an independent committee said the drug was not going to be effective. In October 2020, the company said new analysis of a larger trial dataset showed the drug worked when given at a higher dose. Another argument brought by some scientists was that the data is insufficient to merit regulatory approval. An interesting point to consider is that many pharmaceutical companies have tried and failed in their attempts to prove the amyloid hypothesis and create a drug that slows the advance of Alzheimer's. Halted trials include those of Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson, who stopped their study in 2012, and also Merck's failed trial in 2017. So what could be the consequences if this drug is approved or rejected? If aducanumab is approved by the FDA, licensing in the UK and Europe, where Biogen has already filed applications, could follow. However, following this, there may be a bigger challenge in making the drug actually available. Patients with very early Alzheimer's will need scans of the brain to establish whether they have the amyloid plaques. This would require both equipment and trained staff, and there may be a debate as to whether the drug is worth the cost. The Alzheimer's Association has urged the FDA to endorse aducanumab, saying that any treatment that gives patients more time is worthwhile. Approval from the FDA would also bring more confidence in the amyloid hypothesis and strengthen investment for further studies. An example of this is Eli Lilly, who is trialing another drug that removes amyloids, and a positive result for Biogen may bring greater confidence to its study. On the other hand, rejection would be a heavy blow for the people suffering of Alzheimer's in the US and worldwide. And financially, it would also harm Biogen, who has spent millions on the drug's development and fallen behind in other areas at the cost of focusing on aducanumab. On a financial point, Matthew Harrison, the head of biotech research at Morgan Stanley, said that patient demand will likely be vast. However, some doctors have refused to administer aducanumab even if it gets approval. Regardless, Harrison expects Biogen to bring in $7 billion worth of sales by 2030. So this will undoubtedly be a huge decision for the future of the treatment of Alzheimer's. We shall see which way it will go 
and assess further the future implications of Adjucano Map and beyond. As always, thank you so much for watching our videos. Please do consider leaving us a like, a comment to share your thoughts, and subscribe to our channel for more. And we'll see you next time. Thank you again for watching.